Okay, folks. Welcome back to JG's Chewing on Candy, but it's, let's play Panzer General. It's turn three. We've landed almost the entire German army now. There's obviously a heck of a lot more to do. As I was saying during the end of our last video, the British have really been the great thorn in the side of the axis at this point. And uh, with that in mind, we've got to knock them out of this war. Unless you guys voted not to do that yet, in which case I'll respect your decision, because, you know, Nazi Germany is, after all, democracy. But, um... Oof, nice. The AI's tendency to throw fighters around after uh, soft land targets should work pretty well for us. Uh, because it should mean that we'd be able to take them out. Oh, those are mis those are bombers. So this could be interesting. I want to go to the fighters first, including you guys who took out one of my um, auxiliary bomber groups with the. Uh, great effectiveness in panache. I can't... I mean, I, I've already shown you the dangers of leaving your bombers exposed like that. If they had sent these guys around to finish off those bombers, they would have. Instead, they tried to attack these guys, and I really don't get what's going through the computer's uh, virtual mind there, but... Yeah, they're, they're expected to lose one, because these guys have two stars worth of experience. Got lucky there that I got the first roll, as it were. Oh, there's two groups of these bombers. This could get kind of ugly, actually. What might be a good idea I'm trying to think how can I contain them? Don't really have the fighters free. The only fighter I've got left is this guy, and he obviously is gonna have other fish to fry here. There's probably an aircraft near there. But it's always a good idea to uh, bomb those guys as soon as possible. Though apparently they have pretty good anti-air because they're going to expect it to take one of my guys out. But, ah, these guys have had the worst rolls. Yeah, even losses. Tank killer bombers bombing tanks. And they had even losses. Tit for tat, folks. Not how it was meant to be. Uh... Oh, hold on. You can actually attack before they move. If it hasn't. I think I've explained it before. For, oh, darn it. See, you just it's a real pain in the ass to lose these fighters because it's so it's a lot of extra trouble to to reinforce them since you have to get them onto an airfield hex to do it. But if I haven't explained it to you before, folks, the way fighter escorts work is the any any allied air unit attacks one of these axis air units here that's like a transport or a bomber. If a fighter is on an adjacent hex, it will come and act as an interceptor. It can only do that once per turn. So I'm basically counting on the fact that they're not going to have more than one plane attacking this group. And uh, to make matters even more exciting, I'm going to... Well, I was going to use these suppression bombers here, but now that I think about it, I probably don't need to do that. The suppression bombers can probably start heading up here now. Because there's so little left here, the Allies ought to be able to... Um, the Navy ought to be able to mop it up 
The submarines ought to be able to take care of it, actually. Forget the rest of the Navy. Yeah, the naval battle went really well, actually. And uh, since the submarines are not... Ooh, I found another guy hiding over there. He's trying to avoid having his battleship sunk. Because he doesn't want to have to say, you sank my battleship. But the destroy the submarines, I mean, you know, they've got like a, a deck gun that is going to be completely worthless against, you know, they, they are not going to be able to attack even the coastal cities to try to soften them up. So it's really nothing they can do but try to finish off the last of those uh, air units, or naval units. This may be a mistake. They may get attacked by fighters. But at this point, I've taken out enough fighters that I'm starting to get pretty confident. Hopefully you guys can actually get in range of somebody. Ah, now this could be quite useful. Because the Matildas do not... Their biggest weakness, the reason I don't use them when I'm playing as the British and Allied General, even though they've got really good defense, is that they have horrible uh, ammo stockpiles. They're just as bad as these zigs. Take off every zig. He's got a maximum ammo of 10. He's down to 4 now after getting suppression bombed. You remember, he participated in combat like once. Hopefully the weather will stay clear. Rain is, of course constant bane to the existence of the British, ruining their picnics and the like, but uh, we can probably deal with, uh, or they can probably deal with a little bit of rain if it means that the Luftwaffe is rendered uh, useless for a couple turns. Uh, I was really hoping you could actually destroy them, that would have been handy, as far as unit movement went. Just waste some of their ammo, why don't you? Perfect. I don't even care if you kill them. Just waste some more of their ammo. Jolly good. No, I wanted you to disembark into that spot so that they cannot come around and take the city after I divert these guys up here. Ah, entrenchment level of one. This should be easy. And, because for some bizarre reason, they left that tank hanging around right there. Holy crap, nicely done, guys. Very good, gentlemen. Oh, this is the tough decision now. Who I want to attack? This is, they've got an entrenchment of eight, but even with a rugged defense, I mean, it's tanks against artillery. Oh, if I'd suppressed them just a little bit better, they would have been forced to retreat there. That would have been nice. Well, as you can see, gentlemen, the uh, battle is already starting to go pretty well. I mean, we're at least uh, on the outskirts of London now. I wasn't not going to be able to get rid of that truck because it's positioned right by those artillery. Oh good, an anti-aircraft cannon. Guys are kind of this sort of bizarre uh, jack-of-all-trades quality. They're not actually too bad on the ground against uh, allied ground units. 
they, they do better against them than you would think. Now, can you get up there? No. This unit could be in trouble, and I think I might just spend the prestige necessary to get the mech up to snuff. Because even, like, you know, I might not even go with this save, but it would be nice to have them at, you know, full strength, or close to it. Do, 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 do. Damn it. Damn it! My Junkers, dive bombers, the Stukas, they're not having a good time. And it still bugs me that their animation for attacking is just them flying perfectly horizontal and doesn't involve them dropping bombs or anything like that. I mean, uh, dive bombing. You know what I mean. I demand that you know what I mean. <laughs> Did I have another fighter here to move? No, I don't. I was thinking about that whole thing as though I had a fighter who could come up here and accompany them. Now they're kind of at the mercy of whether or not the British have more dudes you can attack. Oh well, whatever. You got any ammo left? No, you are now useless. But you guys may be able to do some good. If they can take these guys out, that would be great because, uh, while well, they'll be useless for the next rest of the fight, it would free both of these ranged attackers to uh, start shelling one of the cities. Shell the city. Uh -huh. Perfect. So, uh, why aren't you attacking? All right, attack. If we can just clear those guys out completely and then park a boat in there to stop them from building there then it's up to me whether I even feel like taking the time to take the city. My ground guys can, can... They can attack there. Well, that might be more useful, actually. Yeah, I'll make them start attacking that northern city later if it becomes uh, useful. In the meantime, both of these cities... This is how... See, this is how I fell in Norway, you bastards bunch of freaking boats shelling me that I couldn't do anything about. In the meantime, as long as I got a bunch of unprotected guys up here, and there is any aircraft here, so I can't just bomb this place with impunity, but... Maybe I'll let these guys land here and try to take that city while my force lands here. Okay. That's nice. What about you light cruisers? I guess you can come over here. Well, you could finish them off, but you know what? What damage could you do against these guys? Because those submarines will take care of... Uh, submarines will definitely take care of... Um, those battle cruisers on their own. You guys just totally failed. Big time. they come over here and attack those guys, it'll be a shame, especially if they force them to retreat, but it'll be drawing them out in the open. I mean, I don't think they're necessarily going to want to do that. Okay. Maybe the battleships have enough firepower to damage the tanks. That would be pretty nice. Yeah, they do. I hope. Come on, guys. Come on, buddy. We gotta 
blow up some tanks. There we go. We don't want them taking out the artillery on the next turn. Heavy cruiser 2 might have a chance. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, this is what Norway was like for me. Just constantly having a bunch of boats show up and attack you. And it's like, I'm a freaking land unit. Leave me alone. We got nothing to do with each other. These guys are already hoes. You've only got one ammo left. Why not use it? Softening up these guys. Because you have apparently no soft attack. You apparently are not capable of attacking ground units. Crap. Alright, well, let's get you over here in case the uh, you provide a tempting target for those uh, last two shots that Battlecruiser has before the subs take it out on the next turn. Why am I throwing a target at them? I just don't want them picking a target for themselves, that's all. Never did figure out what to do with you, did I? Well, now that these guys are all wiped out here, you could safely come up here and start softening up these guys. Though I should have made you soften up those guys. I don't know what I was thinking about. Okay, let's let some of the that is the that picture denotes crap panzers basically. Like the kind of panzers that were maybe workable sort of kind of back when I was fighting in Poland and now just ain't cutting it. Oh, we're so glad to get out of that little peninsula we were trapped on. That really sucked for us. Cool. We got some artillery out here now, too. And once again, ignoring entrenchment is the specialty of the engineers. Or at least ignoring rugged... I think they just maybe ignore rugged defense. Oh, that was beautiful. That... Oh, I, I wept almost for that. You guys are just getting all the free experience you can handle here. Shelling away on those dudes. You're gonna have to get more ammo soon. You're really running through it the way you're butchering those dudes. Yeah, rugged defense, I kind of knew. Hopefully this will still work reasonably well for me. Ooh, that was a lot of losses, actually. Ouch. No, that was, in retrospect, a mistake. This will be a rugged defense, too, so why am I doing it now that I think... Oh, it's not a rugged defense. But yeah, that sucked. I lost four four panzers in that. That was pretty pretty bad, actually. Yeah, this whole thing here is not going that good. At least I should be able to force them to surrender here. The German paratroopers seem to have really crappy uh, combat stats. And I couldn't even make them retreat. If I'd made them retreat at that point, they obviously would have surrendered, which would have worked out fine for me. Because it basically would have meant that... I'd get that city on the next turn. Ugh. I'm just not getting any kind of random number generator luck. At least I didn't lose anybody there, but I hate losing those uh, initiative rolls. Should have a little roll reversal there. Sorry, I don't really know what that means, but. 
Uh, I'll just take the city before somebody screws it up. Or, hold on. No, I can't actually get up there to, uh... Cannot actually get up there to that truck, so I might as well just take the city. Get some prestige for that. You really can't do anything ever again. Now, you can get up to the truck. What kind of losses will you take? You might take some losses from those artillery. But I'd really like to get rid of that unit before it can uh, escape out the back door. I don't remember exactly what it is, but... Oh, it's anti-tank guns. Burning trucks! Ah. And that's it for this turn. Alright. Let's give the Allies a chance to make a big comeback. And then... We're not quite ready to end the video yet, but we're getting, uh, we're getting up there. And they're gonna bomb my artillery like jerks. Although you probably haven't actually seen this picture yet. The Stug-Ib artillery. Whatever they're actually called, for real. At least they didn't go down and bomb that one artillery unit that was already really weakened. They do like bombing artillery units. Artillery units are not good against bombers. Ooh, you, these guys could be in for real hurting, this particular infantry unit. And there's a whole bunch of uh, air defense, but I think their air defense at this point in the game has a range of two. Which means that I should be able to bomb these rows here safely, because I think they were up here. Anyway, I don't see any new RAF presence. Oh, nope. Well, those are two bombers, but who are you? You are a fighter. He's a fighter, not a lover. Alright, well, I need to get rid of you, even though I'm probably now coming into range of any aircraft. Whoa! Shit. Well, here's the RAF. We found him. Oh, crap. Luftwaffe is all spread around, too. I was thinking I could... Ooh, that was nice. I was thinking I could suppression bomb this thing uh, to start taking away its ammo so it couldn't start shooting down my fighters too much, but at this point... I just gotta throw all my fighters over here and hope for the best. But you can see now... Do you see now, disbelievers? Why I have been dutifully training my Air Force like crazy? I knew this battle was coming, for one thing. Mm. Somebody finally is going to get a chance to fight back. That had gone all my way up to that point, other than the fact that they're all hanging around by anti-aircraft, which will severely hurt one of us in the next round. But I can prevent those uh, bombers, or the, those fighters from escaping by doing the... Oh, you don't have enough range. Uh, you will have to take the big risk then. Oh, shit. You don't have a lot of fuel left, do you? I'm going to need to take... An airfield, I'm gonna to need to take it soon. These guys are gonna to have to blitz for that airfield. That's that's all there is to it. There will be interceptors, they'll get a chance to do a little bit of damage here. And they did that little bit of damage and kind of annoyed me. I might lose this bomber unit in the next turn if they decide to they decide to uh, use any aircraft gun and these five fighters both against it, I might lose it. Unless, of course, I severely damage the any aircraft guns. Or take them out completely. That's another thing I could do. 
Yes! Excellent! Oh, things are looking up, folks. guys to end up I guess you can stick with all those fighters or should I well you're gonna be needed in over London pretty soon that's for sure the fight over London is gonna be a toughie but let's get you over here so you can get some more ammo and uh, you guys You can do whatever needs to be done over here. Oh, just beautiful. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. It was a very good thing that I was able to secure the Tauntaun airfield here. The Tauntaun airfield. You know what? No. You guys might want to head up. Oof. You're going to have pretty heavy losses from that. So yeah, see, for some reason in this game, infantry sucks against anti-aircraft guns. Although any aircraft guns don't get to attack them. They've got an entrenchment of eight, which means that they they will get a rugged defense if I try anything against them, most likely. Let's see, what can we do here? Three losses. Sometimes the really good uh, suppression bombers can attack without losses on any aircraft, which sounds ridiculous, but, or like one loss, I can handle that. They took out two, that's more than they were supposed to, I'm a little annoyed, but hey. It also rendered that airfield neutral, interesting. Now if they can make them retreat, somebody else can bomb the anti-aircraft guns again, and I'll have... They still got ammo though. I mean you're not gonna get through this without taking some losses, but my thing my deal now is that I've uh I can now bomb around here with impunity, because these guys are now completely out of ammo. Obviously, I need to uh, get you guys back up to snuff. Might be a good idea to whittle away at your ammunition stockpile, my friend. So, what are you looking like for ammo? One ammo left. Let's let these guys soak it up, since you are really crappy at hurting them. Although you managed to do it there, good for you. Now these guys, who have really crappy initiative against you, but have a decent heart attack, oh, a decent heart attack, they're going to be able to hurt one of you. Crap. No, no, they got two of you. Better than expected. And you're not going to be able to reinforce from there because you're covered up with the bomber. So, good stuff. In the meantime, I can't do anything about those bombers as much as I'd like to. Let's get you some replacements. So you can get back to your important job of bombing the hell out of the British. 
As nice as that would be, I think it's more important right now to bomb these guys. Because, since they cannot retreat, all you've got to do is get them in a position where a normal unit would retreat. And you take them out. Oh, I didn't notice that at all. Oh, crap. Total brain fart there, folks. That was This was a bad idea. And this is a really elite bridging engineer unit, too. I do not want to lose them. Because they're going to get shelled on the next turn from there. Oh, crap. That's a bad idea. send those guys in. I mean, I definitely want to advance through the city. I don't want to let them reinforce, but send those guys in too far behind enemy lines and they're going to get creamed. The British will obviously be desperate in their counterattacks. Oh, hey, you guys are... I kind of lost track of the fact that I hadn't used you guys in your turn yet, so you guys are actually free to come down here and start shooting down these bombers, which is good. Unescorted British bombers. Thank you, AI. Not that I haven't thrown up some unescorted bombers for the British to attack, but... Well, anyway. Oh, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. This... this scenario is a big race against time though folks you've really got to really got to complete this one pretty darn fast so even if you have this feeling that victory is inevitable you've got to make sure that it happens quickly There's no anti-aircraft guns there, and there could well be. No, there's not. Good. They need to land in an airfield pretty soon too. The Stukas are now significantly behind the fighters and their other the level bombers in uh, fuel capacity. So I have to try to remember that. this carefully. I'll try to take out many of these dudes I can so they can force them to retreat and then take that airfield so the Stukas can land there on the next turn. You're really supposed to be doing better than that, battleships. Don't care about you and I don't really care about you either. But just so that I'm not reminded about you, I'll move you there and there. You get down here and attack them again. Okay, now I ought to be able to take care of this.
Okay. Alrighty. And uh, submarine, you just move one hex so that they don't come asking me later on, where would you like the submarine to move? And, uh... Hmm. Seems like the destroyer, or the battle cruiser, has fled over here. There they are. You cannot escape from my submarines who have nothing better to do than hunt you. Perhaps if they had something else to do other than hunt you, you could escape, but they do not, so you will not. Ha ha ha. And, um. There we go. <laughs> can actually be somewhat helpful here, guys. And I really don't care if you do destroy some of these destroyers. They're pretty much past their sell-by date. Sorry, guys. Now we're just throwing them in here as a way of uh, taunting these guys. Why don't you attack our paratroopers? Then you will get shot down by escort fighters. Ha 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 ha. Doot, doot, doot. It is lag. The game will lag. These light cruisers do not appear to have the range. So, let's get them over here to help with this instead. Yeah. No. Now this, on the other hand, you might actually get to be useful if I bring you over here and let you shell these guys. Actually, I should have used them up here before. Uh, should have brought them to bear on the damn uh, anti-aircraft guns before I brought in a bunch of bombers. I really wasn't thinking that one through. Oh well. Wow, there's like a little dude there, completely burned, like no no body left at all. That's just kind of a nasty game. What's your entrenchment level four? Uh, okay. Infantry are supposed to be good against anti-tank guns, even if anti-tank guns always seem to get the first shot against me. It's going pretty good so far. It's going pretty good. Now... This guy, these guys lost a lot of troops in that last battle, but they are still a five-star almost unit in experience. And now they're not even ten strength anymore. Oh, jeez. And the paratroopers continue to just suck. You gotta at least finish them off, paratroopers. Koopa Troopas. There we go. Take over Dover. Oh, the Nazis have taken over the white cliffs of Dover. Oh, recon. They suck. 
their combat stats are crap. But what else am I going to do but use them to soften up entrenchment? Oh, that hurt. That was bad. Bad, 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 bad. That sh should not have done that. Rugged defense again. You've only got two entrenchment. The 60th Great British Infantry is, uh... They're feeling their oats today, I guess. Now, you do have one uh, ammo left. I was going to reinforce you, but let's move you over here to provide support fire in case they try to attack. And in the meantime, what do you want to do? You want to come up here and attack these guys? You won't do a whole lot of damage. What about coming over here? It says you're supposed to not take any damage. I'm not sure I believe it. Yeah, that was probably pretty foolish. I should have questioned the logic of the random number generator there, but uh, they're down to only having two ammo left just based on how many times they fought in that turn. might be asking a lot of them, but I'm thinking about sending these guys in here. Trenchman of four, trenchman of eight, trenchman of eight. Just send them in there to hold it. Maybe throw these guys in next door. These guys are artillery, so uh, these guys try anything funny against either of these units, they'll have to eat some artillery first, which I, you know, maybe I should have sent these guys in, damn it. Well, they'll be available in the next turn to help out with whatever. And this ends up being one of the problems with attacking London, there's just not enough room for everybody in your army. You guys just take over Bournemouth. And, uh. Oh. Well, if you only lose one and you soften up their entrenchment, that'll be good, but I'm not sure if I believe it. Even when I know I'm gonna lose one and not get any damage done, I'm still attacking. I'm being too aggressive here. So attack broken up. I didn't even lower their entrenchment level. That was dumb. Did I lower their entrenchment level? Anyway, these guys, you can't really starve them out for ammo. I mean, they've been suppression bombed. That's the only reason they've taken so much. But they have a 50. I mean, the whole point of those things is they're pillboxes. They're supposed to sit there forever. Waiting for anyone who's foolish enough to attack. Like I was. Very, very foolish. Alright, folks. You can't make an evil Nazi German omelette without breaking some German eggs. Uh, that's going to be it for this video. Well, no, wait, hold on. We have to see the. Uh, we we'll have to let the allies have their turn so that I start the next video on my turn. See what they do here. Well, they're going to attack those guys. I don't really care about that. Sorry, German sailors. I don't care. Knew they were going to try something. So let's see if they can. Maybe get some losses from the, the stub artillery. Oh, I took out one of them. Just one. They fared a little... The infantry took better care of themselves than the artillery took care of them. But uh, they did not try to attack this tank. Which means that we now have taken... Uh, Canterbury... And uh, we have now entered into the city of London. They don't break out London. The different, there's like, there's nothing here that's supposed to be Big Ben, and there's something else that's supposed to be uh, the House of Commons. But um, yeah, we've we've entered into southern London, and um, oh yeah, this.
this is an objective city. Bristol it will fall pretty soon, I'm thinking. Unless there's more defenses up here than it appears that there are. Uh, all in all, things are going pretty well, folks. Things are going pretty well. When we come back, we will continue attacking the uh, British in an attempt to knock them out of the war and completely screw up history. By uh, If you knock the British out of the war in this game in 1939, then... Guess what, folks? The Americans never really enter the war, because you fight the Soviets for the rest of the war. And, uh, you know, we can talk about that in the next video, because this one's already going way long. Uh, it's interesting to speculate on, you know, what would have what, what would have happened, what-if scenarios. But in this game, pretty much all of the... All of these scenarios on the western side uh, that take place after these battles here. You've got a couple of Middle Eastern battles here against the British. But pretty much... Um, most of these western battles now, you're fighting the British and the Americans. And since the British are no longer in it, and they didn't bother to do a version of the those maps where it's just you fighting the Americans, all of these get eliminated if you beat the British, and basically, the uh, if you beat the British, you're knocking the Americans out until the final mission where you fight America. We'll see about that in the next video. But anyway, this has been Mysterious JG. I want to thank you very much for watching, and I hope you'll tune in next time. Auf Wiedersehen. Schmuck.